Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Goodmanson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Coffee Mug tutorials. Uh, I'm going to keep going on production. Um, what we had done before is we created two items. Uh, one is the ingredient, which is coffee beans, and the other one is the output, which is ground coffee. And uh, so what I'm going to do is actually highlight a kind of cool feature. Um, if we go into released production orders, and I had created some last time, right here, and if I go into ground coffee, um, I can see that we, of course, need... Uh, if I go into the line and components, uh, we need coffee beans and I need 88 of those. And so I don't know if I actually have enough. I actually think I am short. And there is a lot of ways to calculate the need to supply uh, the coffee beans that I need to actually make this. So one of them is, is kind of cool. I can actually go here into navigate and hit planning. And then I get this screen here and I can hit calculate plan it tells me what I need. So here I have this production order. It is for uh, ground coffee. And this production order actually needs 50 pounds. So I have some pounds already. Uh, and, and the system is basically saying that I need 50. So I can go ahead here and say, OK, so we're going to buy uh, from this vendor. Notice. This is the item vendor catalog. It's actually a list of vendors that supply this item. You can set that up on the item card. Uh, in this case, I have just one vendor. I'll just pick that one. And I can say here, I want to buy maybe 100. So I want to be uh, more than safe on this. Uh, so we're going to buy 100, even though I only need 50. And then I just hit Make Orders here. And this brings up a similar screen as the acquisition worksheet. Uh, so we're making orders for the active order, which is the order I just came from. We're going to make purchase orders. If we needed to make something, actually, it would, we would have created production orders or transfer. We could transfer orders or assemble something, assembly order. So it's all the supply elements, uh, something that creates inventory for this um, production order. So in this case, it's just going to be a purchase order. Just hit OK. It did that. Now I just close, uh, and if I close out this and close out the uh, uh, production orders and I go back to my home screen, I can go into purchase orders here, and I can see that Fabricum actually has a purchase order. If I click into that, uh, we have the coffee beans 100. So basically from the production order, I generated a purchase order to supply that demand. Uh, this is uh, kind of an easy way to, to get the demand in. Uh, there is also a planning worksheet, which I might touch on next time. So if you got something out of this, thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Uh, until next time, thank you.